Hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the hardware hash of a Windows 10 machine using a PowerShell script and save it as a CSV file. Let's begin by opening an elevated uh, Windows PowerShell. You can right-click the Start button and then click on the Windows PowerShell Admin. You can do it some other way, like you can type in PowerShell here on Cortana and then run as administrator. Either way will do. Okay, going back to the Windows PowerShell window, the first thing that we need to do is create a folder um, and then save the output file to the folder. I suggest we create a folder in C drive for so we can easily remember md c colon backslash and I'm going to name the folder hash there you go next uh, we set the location to the folder we just created so set dash location c colon backslash hash alright now third we set the execution policy to unrestricted. This will allow us to install a PowerShell script from the source without a problem. So let's do set execution policy, then the scope switch dash scope process, and then the execution policy switch, which is dash execution policy which is unrestricted it will prompt you that you're about to change the execution policy just press Y for yes now we are ready to install the script so let's do install script name dash name uh, we name the script get windows autopilot info okay so again you'll get a prompt that's uh, saying that the uh, reposi uh, repository is from uh, untrusted so just press y for yes Okay, so it's installed. Now we are ready to generate the hardware hash. So we use the um, the command get Windows Auto Pilot Info PS one, and then the output file switch dash output file. You can name the output file anything you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to use autopilot hwid.csv. Remember to use a CSV extension name because we would like it to be uh, a CSV file when we upload it to Intune. So press enter. And there you go. The hardware hash should be on the CSV file generated now we can verify that by going to C drive and then the hash folder and then here's the autopilot hardware ID let's verify the information here so we have the serial number and the hardware hash so there you have it now before we end this tutorial I uh, a strong suggest that we set the the execution policy back to remote signed. This will prevent any uh, installation of PowerShell script that may harm your computer. So let's do uh, set dash execution policy and uh, the scope is process execution policy should be remote sign just press yes again for the prompt 
and there you have it folks. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.